Running, the original and only trilingual Filipino Chinese lifestyle magazine show, Chinatown TV, Feichong Yan Chutai. I'm your host for today, Trisha Chua. Alam nyo, proper grooming and professional appearance are important, not just for positive impression, but to gain respect in the workplace. First impressions matter, and the way you look and carry yourself create impact with the people you get along with. Pero paano ba natin ma-achieve yan? Well, for me, I think kailangan bigyan important at i-highlight ang ating mga mata. Kailangan bongga ang ating mga eyelashes. At syempre, ayaw naman natin mga unwanted hair sa ating face and other parts of the body. And let's not forget, kailangan ng eyebrows lagging on fleek. Speaking of which, nandito ako ngayon sa Fleek Eyebrow and Beauty Clinic dito sa Mega Mall. Mamaya ipapakilala na sa atin ang kanilang mga bagong and exciting procedures. But before that, here's our first story for today, Ching Shou Kan. Beauty is not bad, nor is it unimportant. Despite what others may say, concern for aesthetics to a certain degree is vital in our lives. The Doctor's Drip Lounge and Infusion Bar is probably the first lounge or clinic that renders full service on various intravenous therapy or IV drip. A good percentage of their clientele are coming for their personalized and curated therapy. At ngayon, they're happy to introduce two of their newest procedures. One would be yung ating carbon laser treatment. Technology nito is yung very popular na ngayon, na high-tech na procedure, which is one is laser. Na it is used to rejuvenate, cleanse, and uh, improve our skin and yung texture nyo mismo. And overall, uh, hitsura ng ating skin after treatment. Yung Bella Contour Treatment naman, uh, ito is four technologies na nasa isang machine. So, ang treatment natin nito ay skin sa face or body skin, extremities, Especially kung meron tayong problem sa wrinkles, pangalawa ay yung mga cellulites natin sa katawan. Ang technology dito involved is, one, mechanical to na rolling in, rolling outward yung soft tissue natin, balat, yung fat tissue natin. Pangalawa, meron tayong infrared radiation. Pangatlo is yung bipolar or radio frequency technology. Tapos yung isa yung mechanical suctioning. Want to exfoliate and refresh your skin and achieve that instant refreshed appearance? So ang ginagawa nito, pinapahiran to ng carbon lotion or cream sa muka. Then let it dry for a moment. And after that, pag natuyo na siya, ginagawa natin, binablast natin siya ng pulses upon pulses of laser during the procedure yung mga toxic substances impurities dead skin oil kung meron man tayong acne problem na i-improve siya o na-treat so during the blasting yung carbon cream in nawawala so makikita mo lahat ng dinaanan ng laser pumuputi siya yung skin tone natin nawawala o sumasabog yung carbon cream during the procedure sumasama lahat ng itong impurities na ito doon sa pag-blast ng carbon cream. Ang skin texture natin, kumikinis. In a few days' time, makikita mo yung mark improvement ng ating skin. And then, the procedure can be repeated every two weeks or kung wala kayong luxury of time, merong once a month. Sana ma-maintain ito para sa kagaganda ng facial skin natin. Kung sobrang nakukonsyos ka naman sa mga sobrang taba at makukulit na cellulites, Vela Contour naman ang sagot ng Dr.'s Drip dyan. Let's say, meron tayong problem sa cellulites sa legs natin. During treatment, meron tayong suctioning effect. Kasi ang mga cellulites natin, ang problema dito is mga trapped fluid or fat cells na pinupunit siya through suctioning. So makakita mo, after several treatment, yung dimpling 
o yung cellulites na bako-bako o alon-alon yung skin natin, nafa-flatten siya. Yun yung effect ng vacuuming o suctioning. Pangalawa is yung mechanical rollers. Minamassage yung fat cells natin, rolling in and rolling out. Ang function din nito is to even out yung mga cellulites natin. Yung infrared and radio frequency, these are meant to create, create heat underneath doon sa skin natin or even sa skin kasi meron tayo nire-reach na temperature 40 degrees to 42 sometimes kung matotolerate ng pasyente 45 degrees Celsius yung heat na yun will stimulate yung skin natin to produce more collagen to repair mga wrinkled skin or loose skin magiging tighter afterwards So kung gusto niyong i-avail yung aming procedures, yung Vela Contouring and Carbon Laser Technology, which is very popular ngayon sa mga skin treatment, punta lang kayo dito sa Doctor's Drip Lounge and Infusion Bar. We have several branches. Meron tayong Facebook and Instagram account. Just type Doctor's Drip Lounge and Infusion Bar. Don't go away! Chinatown TV will be right back. Japan Parts Trading Center, dealer in all kinds of bearing. Contact them at 255-7777 or 255-7788 or 255-5588. Welcome back to Chinatown TV. You're still with me, your host, Trisha Chua. Joining me today is the sales and marketing head of Fleek, Ms. Kia May Calza. Hello! Thanks for having us in today's episode. Hello! <laughs> Hi! Can you tell us a little more about Fleek? Fleek Arbor and Beauty Technique uh, specializes in semi-permanent makeup such as feather brows, uh, feather lash, lip tint, and permagrow. It also started last September 2016 and now we have four branches. Uh, yun po ba yung mga procedures that uh, customers would normally get? Or is there other more procedures rin? Most of our clients avail uh, feather brows, nana laser, and feather lash. How important is it that we always look good? Like, how important are these procedures for us women? Uh, with today's fast lifestyle, women no longer have the luxury of time to fix their face every day. Sleep provides the opportunity to always look perfect as you wake up, saving the time and effort that could be spent elsewhere. So Ms. Kia, are there new procedures here that people can avail in Fleek? Ang pinakabago naming service is Feather Lash. And ipapakita din namin sa inyo ang most available service namin na Feather Brows and Nano Nako, excited na ako dyan because I can't wait to see how the results will change, diba? Talagang woke up like this look na yung ating mga clients later. But before that, we have other segments here on Chinatown TV. Please watch this. Ching Shou Kan. Isang pagbabalik tanaw sa kasaysayan ng mga putahing Pinoy ang ginanap sa Diamond Hotel kailan lamang. Ni-recreate ng Diamond Hotel ang Malolos Congress Wine Dinner of 1898 wherein the Proclamation of Philippine Independence was ratified in Bulacan. The anthology of illuminated Filipino flavors can be explored from June 19 to 30, 2019 at the Kernish Restaurant, where a spread of fascinating regional recipes and rediscovered delicacies are waiting to be savored and celebrated. Diners can relieve the tastes and aromas of the past on their plate with friends, family, and fellow food lovers for 2,990 pesos per person. To give a touch of excitement to the event, guests with a minimum spend of 5,000 pesos at the Kernish lunch or dinner buffet will get a raffle ticket for a chance to win a two-night stay in Baguio. 
Though guests can leisurely let their taste buds lead them through the gastronomic adventure, Chef Christopher Karangyan. Yung iba sa mga iniyain natin ngayon dito, may kinalaman sa kultura natin, sa tradisyon natin, at mga pagkain na related or may kinalaman sa mga bayani. Isa dun sa pinakapaborito kong ano, uh, iniyain natin, yung Shento Quince. Nakikita ka sa television, binubuhay mo yung mga pagkain Pinoy. Sana gawin mo yung Shento Quince. Nung narinig ko yung Shento Quince, meron na kagad dating. Ibig sabihin, meron siyang 115 chilies na inilalagay doon sa lutuin. At marami pang mga lutuin tayo dyan, katulad ng Warek Warek. Meron din tayo dyan, uh, pansit lang lang, na minensyon ni Jose Rizal sa El Filibusterismo. Andyan din yung isa sa paborito na pagkain ni uh, Emilio Aguinaldo, yung pan, uh, uh, adobong dilaw. Kaya may representation yung buong Pilipinas. Chef Christopher Karangyan is said to be your guide as diners delve into the origins of Filipino cuisine through his prepared dishes. As founder and president of Freezer, Chef Philippines and Punong General of the Culinary Generals of the Philippines, Chef Karangyan's passion for exploring and reintroducing local traditional dishes aims to promote the Philippines' historical identity. Unique and unpassedly vibrant, the featured specialties brim with timeless tales and customs. Ciento Quince, an extinct Shavacano dish, forgotten tradition. An extinct Chavacana dish combines seafood with liempo in a long forgotten tradition. A better known delicacy is the pancit lang lang of Imo's Cavite, first made popular in El Filibusterismo by Dr. Jose Rizal and made with sotanga noodles, chicken meat and eggs, quail eggs, shrimps, and vegetables. The Wari Quarik of Northern Luzon is reminiscent of the Kamampangan Sisig and the Ilocano Dinakdakan, once part of a ritual invoking the wisdom of the gods. This contains liempo cut and choice offal infused with ginger and other aromatics, along with liver spread for a modern take on an ancient communal meal. Uh, Diamond Hotel is an all-Filipino independent hotel, so we would like to promote our very own cuisine. So. What we have is a 10-day promo where we are featuring um, dishes of uh, Chef Chris uh, in, at the buffet. So this promo is for 10 days. You can catch uh, Chef, Chef Chris here at Diamond Hotel from June 19 to 30. And you can, you can buy your buffets online at onlinechopping.diamondhotel.com or you can call our reservations to uh, reserve your table. We'd like to invite you all to join us here at Diamond Hotel at the Philippine Culinary Heritage Filipino Food Festival at the Cornish Restaurant from June 19 to 30. Hainan Province is the Hawaii of China. Now with chartered flights from Philippine Airlines, you can fly direct from Manila to Haiko for a special all-in price of 329 US dollars until the end of May. Limited slots on a first-come, first-served basis. Philippine passports holders can fly visa-free. Interested parties can consult with all major travel agencies. Sucramia, the new sucralose zero-calorie sweetener. Iwas obese, iwas diabetes. With proper diet and exercise. Sucramia, ang tamang tamis para sa tamang timpla. Available in major supermarkets and mercury drugstores nationwide. Welcome back to Chinatown TV. You're still with me, your host, Trisha Chua. A while ago, Ms. Kia talked about the different procedures na pwedeng i-avail dito sa Fleek. But to learn more about it, we have the training supervisor of Fleek, Ms. Margie Eraga. Hello, Ms. Margie. <laughs> Can you tell us a little more about the procedures na minention kanina? So that's feather brow, microblading, and feather lash. Feather brows is a semi-permanent makeup procedure for eyebrows. Then, ito lang, after two years, so, gumagawa kami ng illusion surface, trans, para maging mukhang natural yung eyebrows natin. 
Then, gumagamit kami ng vegetable treatment po para hindi po siya yung nakaka-allergy sa skin. So, all type of skin naman is uh, pwede po dun sa procedure. So, pag nagpa-eyebrow, example, nagpa-microblade ako, ito last me two years. Yes, up to two years po siya naglalas. Pero depende po sa skin type. Kasi kapag oily or acidic ka, medyo mabilis lang po siya. Then, depende po sa aftercare natin, after procedure. Kasi kung paano natin alagaan yung procedure, maglalas din po siya ng matagal. Kung ina-avoid natin like yung toner, ang stringent, so iiwasan lang natin yung masisipin natin pag naglalagay ng beauty regimen natin sa skin. Kailangan po ba akong magpa-retouch pag nagpalagay po ako ng microbiome? Yung powder brows kasi namin is with free retouch na po okay. yun. Uh -oh. So yung retouch po is ginagawa siya 4 weeks after first procedure po. Then after a year or 2 years na faded na po siya kasi mag-fade lang po siya naturally, pwede na po kayong magpa-retouch ulit. So hindi po siya katulad sa tato okay. na naglalast po like 20 years, mm -hmm. din nag-iba yung kulay. Yes. So, yun naman yung sa feather brows namin sa microblading is magpipig lang po siya naturally. And it's painless, right? Completely yes. painless. Mm -mm. And then, you can't really see, I mean, you can see natural strands of hair. Yes, because we do the stranding. So, gumagawa kami ng illusions of hair strands. So, parang natural lang siya na hair strands. And yung hair sa eyebrows ko, it's still gonna grow, right? Yes. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> so, I can put castor oil para it'll still grow despite the fact na I microblade it. Yes. Uh -oh. Okay, that's interesting. And then near, sorry, the feather lashes, is that what it's called? Yung feather lash naman is para magkaroon ka po ng cool na eyelashes, mas curly siya, and then mas na-enhance po siya dahil magkaroon ka ng brighter eyes, and then mas na-emphasize yung eyes mo kapag meron kang feather lash. Okay, and as a customer, Oh, I'm sure a lot of us are curious. Do we get to choose kung ilan po ba ang buhok na ilalagay niyo po sa aming eyelashes? Yeah, normally depende po sa inyo kung anong mas gusto niyo po. Kasi we have the natural, the glamorous, and the dramatic. So sa natural po, normally 100 strands po siya for natural. Then for the glamorous naman is normally 150 strands po siya. So sa dramatic naman, kapag gusto natin na Yung pang party. Bongga, ganon. <laughs> okay, and there was one more procedure that we wanted to mention earlier. Ah, yeah. The nanolaser procedure. Ayun, nanolaser. Uh, uh, so, it's for the unwanted hair. Sa nanolaser kasi is mas nakakatulong pa siya like sa underarm. Kapag nag-flock ka or nag-shave ka, nagkakaroon ka kasi ng chicken skin and nagda-dark ng sun. Okay. Nakakatulong siya sa pag-lighten kasi hindi na tayo mag-shave. So, nakakatulong din siya sa time natin na lalabas tayo, wala ka ng hair. So, <laughs> Ready na! <laughs> Magtaas kilikili, <laughs> And the hair won't grow back ba? Or if it grows back, it's much thinner than before? Kapag ka, naka-avail ka na ng like at least 8 sessions, kasi we recommend at least 8 sessions for the procedure, pero depende pa rin sa hair growth, sa hormones, kasi may mga sinaconsider tayo para ma-achieve natin yung best result. Kapag ka, natapos mo na yung sessions, then wala na. Kung may babalik man yun, it's uh, ano na lang, sobrang nipis. Very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Naku, sobrang excited ako and curious at the same time how these procedures happen. Paano nga ba, Miss Margie, ginagawa ang mga procedures ito? Para po makita natin yung actual procedure, ito po panoorin natin yung procedure.
sa hapagkainan Espesyalista sa baking ingredients Sa konting gamit lamang ka na Ito ang perna Patok sa sangkap at ang pagana Lipat na sa perna Number one in food colors and food flavor F-E-R-S-A The best ang perna Good morning, Chinatown TV, and welcome to Ferna, your ingredients of success. Now, speaking of good morning, Shepre, what is a good morning without a good breakfast? Today, we're gonna do a red velvet pancake. So, gagamitan natin siya ng ating Ferna hotcake mix na quick and yummy. So, ngayon, papakita natin how quick and yummy our Ferna premix for pancakes is. So, simulan na natin ang ating red velvet pancakes. So, to start, gagawa tayo ng ating pancake mix. Okay, so we're just gonna empty yung lahat ng laman ng ating pancake mix. So, we don't need to add any sugar. Wala. Nandito na lahat. So, it's very convenient. Kaya siya quick and yummy. And then, we're just gonna add 3 fourths cup of water. There you go. So, haluin lang natin siya. And, syempre, kasi pag gumagawa tayo ng red velvet cupcakes or cake, nilalagyan natin siya ng cocoa powder. So, we're gonna add a few teaspoons of the Ferna Cocoa Prime. So, siguro around 2 teaspoons lang. So, haluin muna natin yung ating uh, pancake mix. So, kapag meron na tayong light brown color tulad nito, we wanna add the red food coloring. So, the secret to a perfect red velvet recipe is that kailangan very subtle lang yung cocoa natin. So, meron ka lang hint of cocoa. And then yun, we're gonna add the Ferna liquid food coloring. So, lalagyan lang natin siya. Konti-konti lang. And then, we add more kapag kulang. We heat our pan. Painitin lang natin siya. And then, we're gonna grease it with our Gold Coast Butter All Substitute. Pwede natin siya gamitin for baking, for frying, and then for cooking. So, gusto natin mag ng vegetables, pwedeng-pwede. So, it's very versatile, and it's very, very affordable. So, if you want that nice, buttery goodness without having to compromise the taste, eto tayo. We go for the Gold Coast Butter All Substitute. So, painitan lang natin yung Gold Coast sa ating pan. Magigis lang natin ng konti. There you go. So now we do our pancakes. So lagay lang natin sa gitna. Okay, so ngayon we're done with our pancakes. Siyempre, gagawa tayo ng sarili nating cream cheese version na gagamitin natin to top our pancakes. So gagawa tayo ng whipped cream cheese frosting. Siyempre, gagamitan natin siya ng ating Frosty Whip whipped cream powder. So the good thing about the Frosty Whip is hindi na natin siya kailang refrigerate. But we need to prepare it the same way that we would prepare our dairy whipping cream. So this is non-dairy, kaya hindi natin problema yung storage. So we just empty one carton. So it comes in 200 grams and meron din tayong kilo pack. One is to one yung ratio natin if you want a perfect whipped cream frosting. But if you want something light, syempre, dadagdagan natin ng more water. So this is a 200 gram pack. So we're gonna add 200 grams of cold water. Okay, so gagamitin natin siya ng stand mixer. So we're just gonna empty 200 grams of our Frosty Boy. Ah, of our Frosty Whip. And then we're gonna add 200 ml of cold water. So, low speed muna tayo hanggang ma-incorporate natin fully yung powder. And then meron tayong room temperature na cream cheese. Gradually, we're gonna add our cream cheese. So, ilow muna natin siya. So, konti-konti. So, bibilis na lang natin ng konti. Nice. Yeah. Okay, so I think ready na ating whipped cream cheese frosting. So, nakita natin how white, how uh, beautiful. So, ready na yung ating whipped cream cheese frosting. So, we're just gonna garnish our uh, our pancake. So, pwede tayong gumamit ng spoon or we can do a piping bag scoop natin sa ibabaw. And of course, to garnish our red velvet pancakes, lalagyan natin siya ng ating Ferna Pancake Syrup na maple flavor. So, pwede natin siya gawin sa, gamitin for waffles, for any garnish doon sa ating mga kinakain na baked products or tulad nito na pancake. So, we just drizzle a generous amount on top. There you go. Ganda. There you have it, our easy red velvet pancakes 
in less than 5 minutes na pinasarap at ginawa extra special of course using our fur na uh, of course using our fur na hot cake mix which is quick and yummy so ngayon nakita natin how quick it is so this is my favorite part tasting Wow. Okay, matakot to do your own version of the red velvet pancakes at home and don't forget to use Ferna. So we'd like to thank everyone for watching today's episode. Sana you learned something new and magkita kita ulit tayo next week for another yummy episode dito lamang sa Ferna, your ingredients of success. Sa panahon ngayon, may isang pangalan na maaasahan. Specialist sa baking ingredients Sa konting gamit lamang ka na Ito ang Perna Patok sa sangkap at pampagana Lipat na sa Perna Number one in food colors and food flavors P-E-R-S-A The best ang Perna When it comes to bridal finery Gowns for all occasions, barongs, suits and tuxedos, there's just one name to trust, Ed C. Located at 122 JP Rizal Street, Corner de los Reyes, Project 4, Quezon City. Ready-to-wear gowns and suits are also available. Want fresh quality seafood minus the hassles of a wet market? Then go to Cold Storage with branches at Wilson Street, Green Hills, Banawe, and Carvajal Street, Binondo. This program is brought to you by Fehua Shangnin Zonghui, Federation of Filipino Chinese Chambers of Commerce Incorporated. Fehua Gazi Lian Hui, Federation of Filipino Chinese Association of the Philippines Foundation Incorporated. Philippine Zhongguo Shanghui, Philippine Chinese Chamber of Commerce and Industry Incorporated. Philippine Nan An Tongxiang Zonghui, Philippine Lam An Association Incorporated. Fehua Tiyu Zonghui, Filipino Chinese Amateur Athletic Federation. Lu Fei Ge Xiao Hui Lian Hui, Overseas Chinese Alumni Association of the Philippines. And Philippine Xiaoyu Lian Zong Shanghui, Philippine Xiaoyu Lian Chamber of Commerce. On June 14, Yi Xiao Tang Philippines celebrated their 80th anniversary and the inauguration of a new batch of officers. Xu Fu Xin served as the new chairman of the board. On June 14, Philippine Yi Xiao Tang celebrated their 80th anniversary and the inauguration of the new batch of officers. Xu Fuxing Tanren Xinjie Li Shi Zhang. Li Shi Zhang Wu Yang Yang Tanren Da Hui Zhu Xi. Ta Gan Xie Ge Wei Tong Ren Zhen Yi Nian Lai De Zhi Chi. Bing Biao Shi Xinjie Li Shi Zhang Xu Fuxing Nian Qing Yo Wei. Shi Li Ye Chong Gong. Re Xin Hui Wu. Xian Ren Qiao Shi Zhu Duo Shi Tuan Yao Zhi. Xiang Xin Zai Ta De Ling Dao Xia. Yi Xiao Tang Hui Wu Hui Geng Shang Yi Cong Lou. Xinjie Li Shi Zhang Xu Fuxing Biao Shi. Zai Li Jie Li Shi Zhang Men De Ling Dao Xia. Yi Xiao Tang Hui Wu Bu Duan Xiang Qin Fa Zhan. 此次担任新一届理事长，他将秉承和发扬菲律宾艺校堂的精神，相互关爱，共同发展，为艺校堂，为飞华社会多做贡献。今天是本本堂庆祝第八十年八十一届志愿就职的成员，承蒙各位社会献达。各位嘉宾，拨出宝贵的时间来出席参加。在此，本人敬代表本堂向大家致以最热烈的欢迎暨最良好的祝愿
。当天的大会由永远名誉理事长许维新担任监事员并巡会，永远荣誉理事长许泽堆担任主讲人巡会，菲律宾红门联合总会理事长许忠兴。菲律宾晋江市龙湖镇莲香总会理事长施聪典，菲律宾中国红门进步党总部名誉理事长郭从源致辞，菲律宾中国红门进步党总部副理事长王文展致辞，旅飞晋江吴坑同乡会理事长许世民致辞。本嘉宾出席庆典并先后致辞，执行副理事长王仁谦致谢词，秘书长施正兴担任大会司仪。CNTV 综合报道。Last June 16, the Philippine Pen Association celebrated their 32nd batch of inducting officers. 六月十六号，菲律宾潘氏宗亲总会成立第三十二届理事会职员就职典礼在马尼拉举行。潘怡福任新届理事长。上届理事长潘汉民担任大会主席，对大家的到来表示热烈欢迎。他感谢所有宗长的精诚合作。多次成功举办了与各地宗亲的文化交流等活动，让旅居飞岛各地的宗亲紧紧联系在一起。他表示，新界理事长一副宗长年福力强，热心会晤，相信在他的领导下，潘氏宗会会晤定会更上一层楼。新界理事长潘一福表示，在历届理事长和宗亲们的共同努力下，潘氏总会走过了六十余载的风风雨雨。才有今天的欣欣向荣。他说：“非常感谢全体李金氏对他的信任及厚爱。”被选为新界理事长，他深知使命光荣，任重而道远，定会与所有同仁齐心协力，为潘氏总会的明天做出新的贡献。当天的大会由永远荣誉理事长潘振兴担任监训员并训会，菲律宾各宗亲会联合会主席谢国仁，南安同乡总会理事长胡斌宏。中共南安市乐峰镇党委书记许德文，南安市乐峰镇归国华侨联合会主席潘嘉义，福建省潘氏文化研究会会长潘孝珍，泉州市潘氏文化研究会会长潘金福，马来西亚雪兰莪潘氏宗亲会会长潘福才。
、菲律宾 Aurora Isabella 镇长黄书恒。菲律宾 San Mateo 镇长 Gregorio Bua 等嘉宾出席典礼，并先后致辞。执行副理事长潘明远致谢词，秘书长潘伟廉担任大会司仪。Megaworld has recently opened Chinatown Museum inside Lucky Chinatown Mall. Let's take a look. 美嘉集团近日在美嘉广场内开设非国第一家献给全球最古老的唐人街的文化博物馆。位于美嘉广场 A 座四楼的唐人街博物馆有十八个画廊，每个画廊都聚焦塑造了明伦洛文化。贯穿社会及经济发展主线的各种影响力和历史事件，从建立基督教化的华人定居地，到市中心的 e s c o d a 走向成为马尼拉殖民地繁华商业区的过程，获国家历史委员会及国家文化与艺术委员会公认的全新文化里程碑，设想作为一个社会空间和遗产项目，指关地种树弥伦洛的丰富历史。美嘉集团的首席战略官 Kevin L. Dan 说。我们的目标始终是将艺术、文化、历史和遗产融入我们发展的整体特威中。随着美嘉广场成为以其丰富历史为特色的社区的中心，我们希望将对艺术和文化的热情扩展到购物中心体验之中，并最终促进马尼拉市这一地区的旅游业。We at the company have always made it a point to create developments that integrate art, culture, history, and heritage of the location where we build. By doing so, Megaworld preserves the overall character of the place while adding interest and vibrancy to it. One of the unique attributes of the Chinatown Museum is that it's located inside our lucky Chinatown mall. It's actually the first cultural museum. Inside such a retail space, museums are not always accessible, and we wanted to truly share this heritage project to the public. Having the Chinatown Museum inside the mall adds to our visitors' convenience and allows it to be more enjoyed by more people. By cultivating a passion for arts and culture right within the mall experience, we hope to boost tourism growth. Even more in this part of Manila, we are very excited about the Chinatown Museum as a la cultural landmark. It features 18 galleries, each one focusing on historical events and influences that have shaped Binondo culturally, socially, and economically. Binondo is best known as the center of trade, but its contribution to Philippine history is significant and far-reaching. 博物馆的开放时间是周二至周日，上午十点至晚上六点。一般客房的入场费为一百五十比索，老者为一百二十比索，和学生为一百比索。身高四英尺以下的儿童可免费入场。CNTV 综合报道。Federation of Filipino Chinese Chamber of Commerce President Dr. Henry Lim Bon Yong held a press conference last Sunday regarding the fishing vessel ramming incident last June 9. 飞华商联总会理事长林允庆上周日就李越滩菲律宾渔船和中国渔船相撞事件呼吁菲律宾各界保持冷静，并宣布商总将提议协助修复飞渔船。并在修复期间为二十二名受影响非渔民提供大米。据商报报道
。林育庆上周日在金顺市举行的班尼萨论坛上说，菲律宾驻中国大使仙塔罗马纳前天联络他，询问商总能否对二十二名受影响非渔民提供援助。他说，与商总成员讨论后，商总决定协助渔民修复渔船，并在修复期间提供大米给渔民，让他们不至于生计无着。能顺利重回海上捕鱼。至于商总届时要协助修复旧渔船或捐赠新渔船，林玉庆说：“等了解相关开支后才能确定。他们和渔民联络上后，会进一步了解能否提供其他援助。”不过，他强调，两国政府仍在履行事发经过，提供援助不代表承认中国或非国对此事件负有责任。呼吁菲律宾各界保持冷静。希望这项援助有助于疏解二十二名渔民的困境。林运信说，事态发展至今，对非中关系有不利影响。他是第三代菲律宾华人，在菲律宾出生、求学、做生意，这是我的国家。但在此时，华人商界仍希望维系中国的友谊。So if you say it, there's no intention of guilt on any party or whatever. No? So this is what we are saying that we are not going to go into sin or make a salad and eat all whatever. Basta ng ano natin dito, konser natin dito, ang kapuhaya na mga mangisa natin ngayon. The new sucralose zero calorie sweetener. Iwas obese, iwas diabetes with proper diet and exercise. Sucramia, ang tamang tamis para sa tamang timpla. Available in major supermarkets and Mercury drug stores nationwide. Koyo Japan Parts Trading Center, dealer in all kinds of bearing. Contact them at 255-7777 or 255-7788 or 255-5588. Commemorate the 44th anniversary of the establishment of diplomatic relations between China and the Philippines and the 18th Philippines China Friendship Day. The Department of Foreign Affairs, the Chinese Embassy in the Philippines, the Department of Tourism, Culture, Radio, Television, and Sports of Hainan, China, and the Federation of Filipino Chinese Association held a cultural show at the Cultural Center of the Philippines on the evening of the 14th. Wei Jinian Zhongfei Jian Jiao 44th Anniversary Day and the 18th Philippines Day. 由菲律宾外交部、中国驻菲大使馆、海南省旅游和文化广电体育厅、菲华各界联合会共同承办“黄金时代非中情”大型文艺晚会，十四日晚在菲律宾文化中心举行。当晚，近两千名中非观众观看了富有中国少数民族特色的表演。在两个小时的演出中，来自中国海南省的演艺人员为现场观众表演了十余个。以中国少数民族歌舞及器乐为主的节目，其中中国歌手的歌曲联唱将海南省民歌《久久不见，久久见》与菲律宾传统情歌依靠联袂呈现。悠扬的歌声唱出了中菲两国人民历久弥新的友谊。中国驻菲律宾大使馆临时代办谭庭生在演出开始前致辞说：“中菲两国人民友好交往源远,远流长，双方持续的文化交流。”将推动两国人民的相互理解与民心相通。很高兴出席今晚的“黄金时代非中情”大型文艺晚会开幕式。
与大家一起庆祝中非建交四十四周年，替中非友谊日。在此，我仅代表中国驻菲律宾大使馆，向给予本次活动大力支持的菲律宾外交部。谭青生表示，中非文化交流拥有深厚的历史积淀，符合两国人民的共同期待。我们应携起手来，加强对话，努力让中非关系更近，让两国人民更亲。非华各界联合会主席杨华红表示，文化交流是促进两国民心相通的重要手段。此次演出有助于两国文化的互学互鉴，共同繁荣。在非华侨华人也希望能通过自身的努力，为两国人民的了解与互信建立起桥梁。今晚，菲律宾共和国外交部、中国驻菲律宾。大使馆、海南省旅游和文化广电体育厅与非法各界联合会在这里举办“黄金时代非中情”的大型微晚会，烈烈庆祝非中建交四十四周年暨非中友谊日的到来。在此，我仅代表非法各界联合会，对各位嘉宾、各位朋友光临晚会。表示烈烈的欢迎和诚挚的敬意。菲律宾代理外长马纳罗。The Philippines and China shall continue to strengthen and deepen mutually beneficial collaboration by steadfastly continuing along this path. We can secure a prosperous future for our two peoples. 总统发言人兼总统首席法律顾问巴尼洛、非华各界人士以及中国驻非使馆、企业、机构工作人员。达千余人共同观看了演出。参加演出的海南省艺术团三十九位艺术家，来自海南省民族歌舞团、琼中县文化馆民歌展演团。团长葛云峰表示：“海南与菲律宾是近邻，人民间有长期的友谊。近年来。”琼飞交往频密，在这里，我仅代表海南省旅游和文化广电体育厅，向长期以来为中非友好做出贡献的朋友们，表示崇高的敬意和衷心的感谢。陈静瑜、许东晓、郭由周担任晚会主持人。新闻 TV 综合报道。Last June 16, a free clinic for Chinese medicine was held and welcomed over 200 patients who participated. 为了推广中医药文化，为广大患者排忧解惑，十六号，非华各界联合会联合福建中医药大学、菲律宾科学健康促进会、菲律宾中医药中心在非华各界联合会会所共同举行“为侨义诊”活动，受到了热烈的欢迎。前来接受义诊的华社同仁近百位。此次活动目的旨在让非华华社更多的人了解中医的魅力。中医中药学是中华传统文化领域的重要瑰宝，是中华文明的重要组成部分，是众多先贤长期积累的智慧结晶。通过顺应自然规律、区域情况、四时变化、不同年龄、体质，系统分析产生疾病的原因，从根本上予调理，从而使人体气机达到新的平衡、身体健康的目的。此次受邀的义诊专家。均是享誉国内国际的知名中医药专家，对健康管理、胃肠、肝胆及肿瘤的中医药治疗有着独到和丰富临床经验的李灿东医学博士，长期从事高校教育行政管理，在中医药高等教育对外交流合作的秋芽，擅长内分泌和肾脏疾病、妇科以及脾胃病、外科术后中医治疗。以及体质养生调理的陈淑娇医学博士，擅长运用针灸、推拿等中医外治法治疗消化系统疾病、呼吸系统疾病、睡眠障碍等疾病的林丽丽大学教授，擅长痛症、中风、面瘫以及小儿神经系统疾病针灸治疗的张学军副教授，擅长运用针灸治疗脊椎病、腰椎病、肩周炎、膝盖关节炎。三叉神经痛、偏头痛等疼痛性病症、慢性胃炎、便秘
、肠易激综合症、面瘫、失眠、耳鸣、鼻炎、痛经等内科病症的陈彩义医学硕士，福建中医药大学教务处处长张恒亮，吕飞多年的福建中医药大学荣誉教授。中国菲律宾中医药中心主任郑启明对中风半身不遂、面瘫、关节酸痛、腰肌劳损、妇科疾病等，有着独到治疗体会和经验的刘子珍医学博士等。CNTV 记者施梦兰综合报道。The Philippines' first traditional Chinese medical center was opened here in Manila on Monday to help the Filipinos receive better medical services through the traditional Chinese treatment. Philippines' 首家中国菲律宾中医药中心十七号在马尼拉揭牌，海外首台中医健康管理太空舱空降马尼拉，推动智能中医出海走向世界。据中新社报道，该中心是由福建中医药大学申请，国家中医药管理局依据《中医药一带一路发展规划（二零一六至二零二零）》批准设立的二零一八年度中医药国际合作专项内向项目，是福建省首个中医药海外中心建设项目，由福建中医药大学校长李灿东博士担任项目负责人。该中心主任、马尼拉本地知名中医暨福建中医药大学荣誉教授郑启明医师介绍，五位来自中国的中医师将与菲律宾本地中医师共同工作，推广中医文化，提供专业化的中医药服务，重点推动福建中医药大学中医健康管理太空舱首个海外项目在飞落地。据中新社报道，中医健康管理太空舱是一个大型诊疗设备，通过视频。音频、答题、电子脉动测量等，整合中医望闻问切传统问诊手段，采集问诊者电子数据信息，再结合问诊者提供的出生和生活时间、地点等基础信息，给出传统中医个性化的诊断，最终生成健康管理报告，展示状态辨识结果、疾病风险预警结果，并从膳食、运动、推拿、服帖。茶饮、音乐、起居等方面，给出不同的中医自助干预方案，以及帮助问诊者实现使人不生病、生小病、病后容易治、治后不容易复发的健康管理目标。中国驻非使馆田尚廷参赞，参加了当天的揭牌仪式。The Philippines' first traditional Chinese medical center was opened here in Manila on Monday to help the Filipinos receive better medical services through the traditional Chinese treatment. Philippines' 首家中国菲律宾中医药中心十七号在马尼拉揭牌，海外首台中医健康管理太空舱空降马尼拉，推动智能中医出海走向世界。报道，该中心是由福建中医药大学申请，国家中医药管理局依据《中医药一带一路发展规划（二零一六至二零二零）》批准设立的二零一八年度中医药国际合作专项内向项目，是福建省首个中医药海外中心建设项目，由福建中医药大学校长李灿东博士担任项目负责人。该中心主任、马尼拉本地知名中医。暨福建中医药大学荣誉教授郑启明医师介绍，五位来自中国的中医师将与菲律宾本地中医师共同工作。Good day, Chinatown TV viewers. We are here at TCM Sector Traditional Chinese Medicine here at Mandalayan City. Right, right now, here with me is Dr. Zhang. Hello, doctor. He is the owner and also one of the doctors here at TCM. So, hi. Ah, 您好，郑主任，您能不能和我们说一下关于 TCM 的事？ 
。那这个啊，我们现在在设立的这个是中中国菲律宾中药中心。啊、呃，其实，在中国城也好，这个地方有很多的中医师在从事他们的临床服务，作为一个替代和传统的替代医学疗法。啊，中医中药跟这个针灸受到越来越多的欢迎。那同时，也是现代人社会的一个选择。那我们在做这个中医服务几十年当中，我们有发现怎么跟主流社会来一起配合，让更多的人接受。了解中医药，那这样的环境下，我们跟福建中医药大学合作，就想说把这个中医的最现代化一些研究和把中医的这种专业化的服务带到菲律宾来，推广中医文化，提供专业化的中医药服务，重点推动福建中医药大学中医健康管理太空舱首个海外项目在飞落地。据中新社报道。中医健康管理太空舱是一个大型诊疗设备，通过视频、音频、答题、电子脉动测量等，整合中医望闻问切、传统问诊手段，采集问诊者电子数据信息，再结合问诊者提供的出生和生活时间、地点等基础信息，给出传统中医个性化的诊断，最终生成健康管理报告，展示状态辨识结果、疾病风险。预警结果，并从膳食、运动、推拿、服帖、茶饮、音乐、起居等方面，给出不同的中医自助干预方案，以及帮助问诊者实现使人不生病、生小病、病后容易治、治后不容易复发的健康管理目标。中国驻非使馆田尚廷参赞，参加了当天的揭牌仪式。在一些疑难杂症的一些治疗以外，也可以对自己的健康有更多的关注，啊，能够到我们中心。我们中心的地址呢是在曼达卢用的啊 High Point 啊 Medical Hub 的二楼。Enjoy China's scenic beauty and unique culture with the help of Uni Orient Travel Incorporated. Uni Orient is a trusted name and is the pioneer of China tour packages in the country. The next time you plan to visit China, check out the affordable tour packages of Uni Orient. Want fresh quality seafood minus the hassles of a wet market? Then go to Cold Storage with branches at Wilson Street, Green Hills, Banaue, and Carvajal Street, Binondo. Procedures dito sa Fleek, indeed it's so amazing. Because for busy women, imagine mo, the hours they are not cut short, so they can literally say they woke up like this, de ba? You ma eyebrows they are on Fleek na, you ma eyelashes bonga naren, and shampre no more unwanted facial hair. And these procedures really is such an honor, because. Right now, mas marami na mga beauty clinics like Fleek to do so. Kaya, mga busy girls, you have more time to spend with your loved ones instead of getting ready to hustle early in the morning. There you have it! Another episode done here on Chinatown TV. So don't forget to join us again next week for more fun and adventures here on Chinatown TV. Beijing Tianchitai! Shadow